Hello folks, welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll go ahead and create our first custom recruiting application. So you logged in as a Salesforce account that we created and you'll see this screen. Click on the setup button here and then you can, you can scroll down to the bottom and say look for create and click on this button called apps. There's a first link there. Now we need to create a new app so we'll click on the new button and then it's a custom application so click custom app and the name of the app so I want to create a recruiting app so I'll see a recruiting here click on next if you wanted to enter the description you can get it if you don't want that's fine now you don't want an image so just keep the by default image that Salesforce provides so you can always do that and click next here and then they'll ask what are the tabs that you want in this recruiting application from the existing tabs. So these are the existing tabs. So let's say I don't want any tabs except the reports and the dashboard tabs. So you'll move the reports and the dashboard to the list of selected tabs and click next. And this, these are the standard list of profiles that are available. So remember profiles controls the visibility of the application and each profile is maybe given to multiple users. So we are making this profile visible to everyone currently and we'll go ahead and click save. So we have created our first custom application. So this is the recruiting application now you will see in this and then there's reports and dashboards are the three tabs belonging to this application. Now we want to create a new object. The first object that we want to create is the position. So you can always go ahead and you can always write it here if you want. You can say objects here. And then you create on this, click on this create and no, new custom object. Now in this new custom object, the name of my object is position. The label, plural label is for multiple positions. So we can say we can name it as positions. And then the next thing is we allow these four click on these checkbox and then this is an important part launch new custom tab. So we have created the object now we wanted to create the corresponding tab for it. If you want to have a shortcut you can just click on this launch new custom tab and the tab will be automatically created for this position object. Otherwise there is another way to do that. Now they'll asking you about the style of the position tab. So you can select whatever you want. You can usually bold or anything that you want to select and then click next. And then next here. And I wanted to include this tab. So these are the existing application. I don't want to include this tab in all the application. I only want it under the recruiting application because positions make sense for the recruiting application and go ahead and click save. So now if you go back you will see the recruiting application and you'll also see this positions tab. But if you go back to the sales application you won't see the position tab because we have not made it visible under this application. So this we have this is the first thing we have created. We have created the position object and we have created the custom application. So think like it's a table and we are now we're going to go ahead and create the fields for this positions like to capture the position title, to capture the status of the position, the type of the position, salary for this position, all these things. So in next tutorial we'll go ahead and create fields for this object. Till then stay tuned and thank you.